During the first COVID lockdowns in 2020, I built a feeding station out under the pine to the edge of our yard. I've owned a couple of pop-up photo blinds since then, but this year I'm experimenting with just sitting in a camp chair covered with a ghillie suit poncho. This gives me much more flexibility and a better view, and seems, so far, to work as well for the birds, who pretty much ignore me. I also have a new camera this year. The OM System OM-1 Mark II has replaced my year-old OM-1, though I'm still using the same Olympus 100-400 IS Zoom. Since I intend to make a few hands-on, eyes-on, in-the-field, instructional, inspirational videos, I also invested in the absolute least expensive solution I could find for recording what the camera is doing while I'm taking photos. A cheap Android phone, an HDMI video capture dongle, and the necessary cable and mount, a total of about $130 including the software for the phone to turn it into a field monitor recorder. On my first outing, I had the aspect ratio of the recorder set incorrectly, so the video looks a little strange. I spent part of an afternoon in my chair and gilly poncho working the bluebirds who have raised eight broods of young in our yard over the past four years. They are with us year-round, with the young of both broods from last summer often hanging on until the first brood of this summer has fledged, and sometimes longer. I'm still getting the hang of the whole field recording thing, and I don't work with a tripod, so forgive the sometimes shaky footage. The OM-1 Mark II has improved the already excellent bird recognition eye-tracking autofocus of the original OM-1. As you see from the video, it locks on and stays locked on. I shoot in program with auto ISO and intelligent maximum ISO and minimum shutter speed limits, so I don't have to think about exposure at all. I just let the camera do the work and I concentrate on the birds. One thing I notice when reviewing the video is that it is evident that the image stabilization of the Mark II and the 100-400 IS zoom takes a second after the half press to kick in, at least if you go by the view in the finder. I also shoot in JPEG, and my impression is that the OM system engineers have also tweaked the picture control JPEG processing profiles in the Mark II to give slightly better shadow and highlight control. I use the natural profile with plus one sharpening and gradation set to auto. My shots require very little post-processing beyond a one-touch preset that brings down the highlights and pushes up the shadows just slightly, applies a touch of clarity, texture, and vibrancy, and a little bit of sharpening. One of the improvements that I've noticed in the Mark II is the ability to detect birds in and even behind heavy cover. I would not waste my time with bluebirds this obscured except as a learning exercise so that when I do have a rare bird in the field behind foliage or a tangle, I will know the limits of the camera. With the Mark II, I find that I can leave the focus target area set to all most of the time. If the camera cannot find the bird, or if focus locks on the foreground obstructions, it is often enough to use the manual focus ring to bring the lens close to focus. I find that it works best if you half press the shutter to engage focus, or press the AF on button. Then use the focus ring while focus is active. Focus just far enough so that the bird detection box appears around the head of the bird. Once it does, it's safe to take a photo. The green focus indicator may or may not appear over the eye. With the Mark II, I do not pay much attention to the green indicator, and I'm not sure it's all that accurate anyway. Since I had time to work with this bluebird behind the branches, I also tried single point focus. I have my home point focus programmed to a single point and to activate when I push down on the multi-selector, the little joystick thing on the back of the camera, so I can switch to a single point with a single push of my thumb. As you can see from the video, it was not much help in this particular situation as there was no clear line of sight to any part of the bird. Single point worked, but it worked no better than all. The real joy of working bluebirds with the OM-1 Mark II and the 100-400 IS Zoom comes with birds sitting, as they will, right out in the open. I shoot at 5 frames per second. I find that with more or less stationary birds, that gives me enough different poses so each keeper is unique, without overloading my card, computer, or processing stream. 
Here are three of the poses I processed and kept. I used Photomatter on my iPad Pro for processing. And, as I said, I have a preset developed that does 90% of my processing with a single touch. Perhaps I'll do a video on processing bird photos with Photomatter one of these days. Here's a case where working with a bird behind obstructions was, I think, worth the effort, as I quite like the single shot from the sequence that I kept. And we have another bird in the open, on a similar perch, just being itself for a few seconds. The speed and accuracy of the OM-1 Mark II's bird-detecting, eye-tracking autofocus allows me to grab a number of shots from this sequence that I'm really quite happy with, including one where the bird just decided to take off. ProCapture might have enabled me to actually catch the bird in the air, but I've not gotten comfortable with ProCapture yet. And even at 25 frames per second, the bird would have only been in frame for maybe one shot. Again, speed is of the essence, and only autofocus that equals the OM systems could catch a couple of keepers from the few seconds this bird sat more or less still. On the other hand, I had plenty of time to work this bird on the feeder pole, but ended up keeping none of the images. Not good light, and too far away, and nothing much of interest on the bird's part. Nothing that says, I am Bluebird, and I am proud of it. It is never all about birds, of course. This little sequence of a chipmunk in deep cover shows that you only have to get the subject detection to lock on for the briefest second to get at least one sharp shot in pretty much an impossible condition. All in all, it was a very productive afternoon, and an exercise in building my trust in the bird-detecting eye-tracking autofocus and in programmed exposure mode and in the JPEG processing profiles on the new OM system OM-1 Mark II with the 100 to 400 IS Zoom. If you've enjoyed my afternoon with the Backyard Bluebirds and want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.